Hello, this is Mark Denham, radio presenter, audio producer, podcaster and voiceover. Back on the audio journey after a couple of weeks off. And we looked at using tones and sounds that you can generate within Adobe Audition to create sound effects. Today, we're going to look at creating a simple round of applause. Now, there's only me, so you're only going to get one clap. But what we're going to do is we're going to record that clap and then we are going to beef it up to make it into rather than just a simple we're going to have an actual round of applause. So let's start a brand new multi-track session. Uh, we'll call it Applause Effect. And then we will arm this track for recording. You can see here now that we are recording because the VU meters are pulsing up. We're ready to record. And as soon as I hit record, that will start. I'm going to drop the microphone so you may not be able to hear this as clearly. But obviously, I don't want this popping the microphone and distorting because that will be analog clipping and will be very bad. So I'll drop the microphone and I will record just a few round of applauses in different ways. And there you go. We have recorded some uh, rounds of applause in different ways, and you'll see why in a moment. Also, we may just want maybe perhaps just a little bit of uh, background noise in there as well. So we'll just record a couple of takes of that too, and then we'll trim out this bit that you can see that's still recording now. Yeah! Woo, 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 yay! Yeah! Okay, so we just got a little bit of background noise in there as well. What we'll do now is we will go in here and uh, I do apologize. I've done something really, really naughty. I have got the uh, the fan on uh, here in the studio at the moment because it is crazily hot in the UK right now. Uh, I can tell you in here, 27 degrees is what's showing on my little thermometer, which is, to say the least, unpleasant. Uh, that's why the fan is on. So what I'm going to do is I know that there will be some background noise in there. I am going to remove that background noise by just going in and applying a noise gate. So I have my statistics, amplitude and compression, dynamics, and set that to the default, uh, minus 58. Let's see if we can uh, trap out the background noise of the fan. Very, very bad practice, but... The uh, the heat here right now, as I say, 27 degrees in here. So, yes, the fan is on. And I would not have this on if I was recording a, uh, a voiceover or anything like that. But the fan is on at the moment. So, uh, yeah, we've got a little bit of background noise that hopefully we have now uh, removed. Let's get rid of this bit that we just don't need. And that's fine. We will get a warning in the multi-track in a moment as well. I want to normalize that, and I'm also going to normalize that as well. And I do believe, okay, so we that bit there we don't need. Okay, that's that. Right, let's have a little look now at what we have in our multi-track. You'll see that there will be an arrow. That tells me that I have changed this file. So let me get rid of that, get rid of the arrow, and then we'll just discard this for now. Take that out the way, and we will copy these down two different tracks so there we are try and line them up so they're about the same and again with that one slightly shorter i think and this last one here as well uh which is just a little right okay there we are so we are roughly lined up now and we have a round of applause. What we have, though, is a round of applause that's clipping. So on the master, I'll just go in here and hard limit that with the default hard limiter. Just make sure nothing exceeds minus 0.1 decibels, no input boost on that. And you'll see now if we play it, nothing does. What's the next step now that you have all of these? Well, let's do some panning on them. We'll go minus 20. We'll go 20. Uh, and then we'll go 80, minus 80, 
and 80 just to add some stereo width into this as well for this round of applause okay so what we'll do there that last one does just go on a little longer than the rest doesn't it so we'll um we'll just get rid of that and maybe fade that out thank you so much Right, what we'll do now is we will select all of those clips and we will bounce down to new track, selected clips only. Uh, let me move this track down one here so it's just all together. Uh, mute, 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 mute. Uh, and then what we'll do is we will make a copy of that and put it there. Uh, and now we have our round of applause which again we will now let's do a minus sorry a minus 75 on the pan and we'll do a plus 75 on the pan so let's have a listen and you can hear that we have that uh, just a little bit there uh moving on on the uh the right track only because that's this one here right at the end but that's fine that's fine what we'll do is we'll get rid of the background noise that we've also mixed down into that as well and then we can copy these two and maybe just do them uh again uh, and we'll put a bit of pan on as well here we'll have a minus 10 and a plus 10 now easiest way to do this here if we go in here uh, the default stereo output, what we'll do is we'll create a new bus now. Just down at the bottom here, we'll have a new bus. So Alt and B is to uh, create a new bus, and we'll just leave it as bus A. That's fine. Uh, and that will then go to, uh, rather than going to the master, it goes to bus A. Rather than going to the master, to bus A, and we'll swap all of these to bus A. And now on bus A, you'll see that... There they are, all coming through there. They are clipping, but that's dealt with in the master track. Uh, the reason I've rooted them all to bus A is because I'm just going to beef them up just a little bit with a little bit of default two-voice chorus as well. And there you go. Uh, so that is your uh, your little uh, sound effect. Now, if we go back to this original file that we had here, uh, back in the files window that we recorded, uh, also in there, you'll see an automatic track now creates for itself. We've got a little bit of uh, background noise as well. So let's get rid of the clapping because we've already done that. And we'll have the clapping here as well. And yeah. so uh, we'll line that up there. Very bad background noise, I have to say. Very, very bad background noise. Uh, but we'll also copy that to there as well. And what we'll do with this is we'll copy it over, just tidy it up, and that will then hopefully last round about the same time as well. Move that back over, copy to about there. And let's see what we get. Yeah! yeah. What we need to do, obviously, is we need to drag that out a little bit as well. So we'll um, we will take that and we will copy it. I keep hitting the Windows key rather than the uh, the Control or the Alt key. Uh, what we'll do is we will copy that out to around about there, and we'll do the same with this as well. So it's roughly the same length, uh, and that will be fine. Then what we'll do is we'll create another bus, Alt B for another bus, bus B. And that goes to bus B and to bus B. And again, what we'll have on here is we will have on bus B, we'll have a little bit of the default chorus as well. Uh, so modulation chorus, just to beef those up a little bit and make it sound like there's more of them. But what we will also do on bus B is because this is background noise, we'll turn down the volume as well. So let's have a listen. I'm not so sure, if I'm honest, that my terrible sound effects add much to it. But you can see the principle we're looking at here. Without the sound effects, you've got... <laughs> uh, 
And that's just one person clapping away. Mix it down to a new file. We'll take the sound effects out for now. Mix down the entire session to a new file. And there is your round of applause. You can see here what we'll do is we'll trim that off because that's just on the right hand side. We'll trim it up at the start. And then you have a round of applause. You could also uh, go in and beef that up further with a little bit of compression as well. We'll just try the multiband compressor. And there's your round of applause. Excuse the fan, excuse the terrible sound effects, but there is your round of applause. Just with one person, you can create a many-person round of applause. Hopefully this has been of help to you. The entire audio journey so far is on markdenham.com. Up at the top, there's also a contact tab if you have any questions about this or any part of the audio journey so far, or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in a future video uh, or tutorial on the website, then go to markdenham.com and click the contact tab. Alternatively, if you're watching on YouTube, A, please subscribe, B, please tick the notification bell, and C, feel free to stick any questions in the comments below. As always, I hope this has been helpful. Go away and have some fun creating your own round of applause.